Welcome to Brian's Sir Garden. Um, wanted to do a little quick little video on three of my plants. I'm gonna make it for my aloe plant over there, Gucci berry, my ginger, and my, my galanga. Now, aloe plant is pretty easy to grow. I, I don't even do anything to it, well, besides take out the weeds. And that's it. I'll take that piece for me, take it inside the house. Sorry about that, I just harvested it. Uh, now it's growing by itself its own little small baby next to it pretty much I just let the sun and the rain to deal with that uh, Gucci berry um, well this is something that I was interested in growing to be able to eat it and uh, what amazed me I thought you know it was dying on me and I didn't know what to do so I was just gonna let it be okay it, it it produced a harvest I mean a lot and then I harvested it all and then it like that all the leaves started falling that's all uh, I guess uh, it's, it's, it's gonna die but no it came right back alive again and you can see it has its leaves and then it threw a whole bunch of flowers and now I'm going to have to harvest again uh, and you can see it has like little purple little flowers. And then uh, harvest it again. But it's pretty much really easy. I make sure I keep giving it water, give it a lot of uh, compost, a lot of uh, compost tea, worm tea. And uh, it's doing pretty good. Um, my ginger, well. I never grew ginger before, and I did. I decided to do it. I think it was last year. It died off. Um, I didn't. I don't know what I did wrong. This year, um, I tried it again, and I started with one ginger, and now, if you can see. It did produce tons this year. And I can't wait to see the, the harvest of gingers out of this plant. Now it's still throwing new shoots. Uh, I'm trying to find one that you guys can see. Oh, right there. Right here is a new shoot. And then there's another one so we're around here right there as well and there's one real close to this one here and then there's one little long one right here and then like the small one here so there's pretty much it's growing in a rapid pace and it loves the only attention I'm giving is just giving it water when it dries out and that's pretty much it um, so I did to it, and of course, it would compost, but that's all. And the galanga <clears throat> in the growing really tall up here, and uh, it's growing another new shoot right here, and right here is the new one. So, get moving to the side. See, there's one right here coming up too. Ah, no, no weeds. Get out. Um, yeah, I also throw compost. Sometimes it's not completely ready, but I allow it to break down inside its own uh, pot. Because since it has holes in the bottom, um, the the worms climb in there 
and eat the compost but it didn't break down so that's pretty good for that one now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a bonus um, show one more is my turmeric you can see that found this bent down this morning um, we had no heavy winds um, but we are in September and close to the uh, well, I, for me it's the middle of September and uh, it's had that bent down but the rest are still standing even this one over here a lot of them are coming out with flowers I don't know if you see them but there's the flower here's another one right there there's one here growing starting to grow out so they're starting to throw their blooms that to me is an indication is ready to be harvested so and this one let me show you something that I saw earlier this week I thought was amazing is that look at that you can actually see the ginger hold on not ginger the turmeric hold on let me see if I can Okay, sorry about that. I'm trying to find a way you can see it because it looks so dark. There we go. See, I have already a turmeric sticking out of the ground. It goes all the way around underneath that full turmeric. So to me, it's just just ready to be harvested. And if I turn the plant this way, you can see here that, sorry, see here that there's a turmeric there, but it's about to shoot out. Here's another turmeric right there. So it's, it has turmeric. I just think it's just ready to be harvested and we will be harvesting it this year. When I don't know, but I am going to make a video, so stay tuned to my videos because we definitely will be doing harvesting on that. Um, my uh, dragon fruit, I, sit, so I decided to put it in the bottom of the tree and let it climb up all the way up. So, pretty much, my plants are doing good. Um, the care for these plants is very simple. Like first is the, like I said, the, the cactus, I forgot already the name of it. Uh, the plant right there. Uh, just let it rain, uh, just let the, put it outside and let the weather take care of it. It, it. it will handle itself. And since I had it, didn't do anything but give it some compost and that's it. Um, Gucci Berry, well that one I'm still working on, um, like I said it died on me, well I thought it died on me, I have a, a big harvest I got out of it, and then it came back with a whole bunch of flowers, and you can see it's, I'm harvesting again today, and all I did was compost and food, uh, water and compost, pretty much it. Um, this one, like I said, when I was giving it a lot of love last year, it died. When I didn't show any love, and this is what I got. So what I mean that I didn't show any love is that I didn't bother constantly giving it water, constantly giving it compost. No, I just let it be in half of sun, half of shade, like it got sun this morning earlier this morning and then the shade comes and it'll get sun again and then it just builds up that way so pretty good um galanga is the same thing galanga is pretty much one of the easiest things to grow you stick it in the ground and it grows um 
but it's a heavy, uh, it drinks a lot of water. I mean, the ground dries up really quick. So, if uh, I'm not joking. If, if Kalangas, you're going to be watering a lot. And my turmeric, simple as well. I stuck one turmeric in there, and look what I got. So, and yes, uh, I started this last year. And look where it's at now. Now, the people say, oh, it takes three years. But since mines are in pots, they have to be harvested yearly. But they're not small, as you can see. You know, what I could have showed you. They're pretty nice and thick. The rhizomes are pretty thick and pretty big. So, technically, the you know, thing is, they're not small. So, pretty big. So I can't wait to be able to harvest it and get to start tasting it. Well, this is Brian Sarah Garden. I want to thank you for coming to my video. I know I have not done much this year in videos. Uh, like majority knows that uh, I just <clears throat> moved to this place a lot, uh, this year. And... A lot of my plants uh, unfortunately passed um, when I transported them over here and uh, they just didn't live. But uh, next spring when I start over, I have, you know, those you've been following me knows I've been doing composting and worm composting and doing different type of compost. So if you guys been following me, you know, I got this bucket here, this bucket here, this, all our compost, this and this is worm compost. So, technically, everything's doing good. Uh, this one here is what we call a chautia. And let me tell you, it's growing pretty big. You know, I got my basil there. A couple plants there I have to remember. I have to clean this whole bed. I, you know, the funny thing is I cleaned this three day, uh, four days ago. And you can see it's full weeds again and I have to clean it today. But anyway, um, I want to thank you again for coming to my videos keep an eye on it because I am going to put a bed right here where this pots are at for next year we're going to grow some peppers and some some uh, uh, tomatoes and some other uh, vegetables as well and then uh, we are thinking about uh, I'm, well, I, I am thinking about getting myself a passion fruit vine so we can get some um, passion fruit well, this is pretty much it. This is Brian Serra Garden, and I want to thank you again for coming to my uh, vid uh, channel and watch my videos. If subscribe, if you're new, um, and you want to keep listening to more of my videos. Um, hit like if you like it, or dislike if you don't. Um, so, uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.